Welcome back. The Rubik's Cube has been making heads spin for 40 years. Now its creator, Professor Erno Rubik, is taking us behind the phenomenon in his new book. It's called Cubed, The Puzzle of Us All. I talked with him about how it all began. It's part of my life. I, I spent most, most of my life with the cube and without. For 40 years, the Rubik's Cube has both fascinated and frustrated us thanks to this man, Erno Rubik. Before his cube became an iconic toy, the 76-year-old architecture professor invented the 3D structure as a teaching aid for his students in 1974. How long did it take for you to solve it at first? For me, in that time, it was surprisingly difficult. So I, I never expected that it would be so difficult. Rubik himself took more than a month to solve it, calling it the magic cube. Did you have a hard time introducing it to a broader market? It's, it's not an easy task, usually. We love our things, but we are familiar with it. It was another three years to be able to, to break through the Iron Curtain and uh, try, started the distribution uh, in the Western world worldwide. In 1980, the professor's creation took the world by storm with a new name, the Rubik's Cube. Once you get your hands on Rubik's Cube, you may never be able to put it down. With millions of people getting in on the colorful craze. But shortly after, the toy's popularity reportedly declined. The New York Times even wrote an obituary. What did you learn from that time? Uh, it was a very interesting time. You know, the time of a craze, it's, it's, it's not a toy. You can say it's a puzzle, but it's more than a puzzle. I prefer to call it a piece of art. The Cube made a comeback in the early 90s, its twists and turns becoming a mainstay in pop culture. It crosses all age groups, genders, language. You know, there's a unifying uh, piece to this as well. I've seen uh, <coughs> yogis playing with the Cube in India, you know, and many interesting people were on the world. I think that one of the key of the success is a, a joint uh, adventure of the people's hand and the mind. These two things makes us human. And for the past couple of years, some of the fastest hands compete globally in speed cuber competitions, solving the puzzle in mere seconds. What does that feel like for you to see people who love it so much? It's a good feeling. It's hot, hot and warming feeling, but mostly teenagers. And they are really, I can say, some kind of fanatics on the queue. They love to compete, they learn from each other. It's very nice and very lovely to see that. These days, even more people are up for the challenge with more than 25 million people viewing the hashtag Cube at Home on TikTok alone. With 43 quintillion combinations for the Rubik's Cube and one solution, I couldn't let the professor go without asking for some tips. I had this one and I haven't messed it up. The witness is painting me to mess this up. I won't Google it because I could. To do only one side, it's, it's really simple. So you need only concentration and, and try to imagine if I'm doing this, what will happen? By the time our interview airs on television, hopefully, <laughs> I will have, have figured it out. For Erno Rubik, the cube is more than just the solution. It's how to get there. What is it about getting a result for you that feels so good and gratifying? The key is very simple. Never give up. That's, that's the key question. You need patience because that's life. And we need to solve our problems in life. Oh, Professor, I have my homework. <laughs> and there's the tutor who did it right over there. Right. Our right. stage guy, he Mike. Is a, Mike is amazing. He Can did I that just, in less than 90 seconds. In less than the time of, and I really wanted to watch your story, but I was watching Mike do the movie. <laughs> What's the record for solving? The record, by the way, for solving one of these, 3.47 seconds. How? Wow. I had How do you no even... idea. And to think he, he just made this as almost like a math teaching tool. Yeah. And then it became a piece of art. And now it's obviously I don't iconic. think you could even hand it to me in 3.45 seconds. Oh, that's fine. There way. you go. Okay. Yeah.